I don't know about you, but recently I've been seeing soandso.eth all over Twitter. You've probably been wondering how to get one of these addresses for yourself. They're called ENS domains. And today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step, pulling up my screen, how to get one of these addresses. Hey guys, Jessica here. So before we get started, super quickly. ENS stands for Ethereum Name Service. And basically what an ENS domain does is that it takes your Ethereum account address, which is usually something super long um, with a bunch of numbers and letters, and turns it into something that is shorter and a lot easier to remember. So for example, you could have an ENS domain, which is yourname.eth. So if you're into crypto, and you think that the future of crypto is a lot around Ethereum, then getting an ENS domain early is going to be huge. I mean, just think about it this way. If you could take something that's really long and cumbersome, make it a lot simpler, it will make Ethereum, moving through the Ethereum ecosystem that much faster and easier as well. Put it a different way. It's kind of like Gmail addresses. Not only does Gmail power and simplify so much of your life online, but it actually also, you want to get in early, right? Because you want to be able to stake a claim to an email address that actually reflects who you are, as well as uh, is close to your real name. Otherwise you end up with like Joe Schmo 50 random numbers at gmail.com. Personal anecdote, like I feel this pain. There are a million Jessica Chens and it sucks. So for pricing, registering a .eth domain actually costs less the more characters you have in the address. So for example, registering a three character .eth address costs something like $640 in ETH per year versus a four character address costs $140 a year and a five character address goes way down to just $5 in ETH per year. Okay, so to set up your own ENS domain, you go to ens.domains. Uh, website should look something like this. Uh, and basically you go to this button up here, go to app. Uh, before I click that though, I wanted to call out, I'm using the MetaMask wallet. So I have a MetaMask wallet installed in my Chrome browser. This ENS service works with a lot of different wallets, uh, but I'm going to show you guys with my uh, MetaMask Chrome browser wallet today. If you guys have any questions about setting up a MetaMask wallet, uh, we did a separate video about how to get that set up. Um, and so I'll link to that in the description and also in the video right now. So I'm assuming that, um, you know, that's all set up already and good to go before you jump into setting this up. So first thing, click go to app. If you have your MetaMask wallet set up already, then it should automatically load this page where it's asking you to connect the MetaMask wallet with um, ens.domains. Uh, and so you click next. Confirm that you want to connect that account. And now it takes you back to the ENS website. And so we're going to try to register uprise.eth today. So put that in the search bar, whatever name that you're looking for. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like uprise is unavailable and actually will be unavailable through 2025 um, at a minimum. So we're going to try uh, join uprise instead. Okay, search for that. And looks like Joint Uprise is available. So let's go ahead, click into that. All right, so now you're on the page where it's going to tell you roughly how much it's going to cost. So registering the address is really easy and cheap, as I mentioned before, uh, with more than five characters, uh, it's $5 per year. However, just keep in mind that there are gas fees. So these are Ethereum network transaction fees. They kind of fluctuate uh, depending on sort of how much congestion is in the Ethereum network. Uh, and so if you do it sort of like late at night, that kind of thing, maybe um, you can get a better price. Um, all you have to do is just you know, keep refreshing the page and you can see a new price there. Another thing you can do to save on this network fee is to register for more years. That way you don't have to renew the name every year. Uh, you could just pay that one-time transaction fee and it'll at least go for a few years. So we'll up this um, to three years. And, uh, and then the next thing actually is before you hit this uh, request to register button here is on this left. Um, it's read only right now. So you want to make sure you hit connect so it actually actively connects your MetaMask wallet. Okay, so now that's connected. Now you go down here, hit request to register. It'll take you over to your MetaMask wallet to, for you to confirm that transaction and confirm the estimated transaction fees called the, the gas fee. Confirm. All right. And then it just, it takes some time. 
slowly load through uh, as it's writing to the blockchain. It also wants you to wait for one minute to make sure that there's no like conflicting person trying to register join Uprise. Um, so just keep giving it some time. And finally, it's done loading and uh, we're gonna click this button down here to register. Again, one more transaction uh, with MetaMask, confirm. It looks like that successfully went through. So now we are the official owners of joinuprise.eth. Uh, but you still need to do one more step, which is to set um, this primary ENS name. So it doesn't connect the address, the wallet address with your ENS domain until you do this step. So you go here and then you select the domain that you just registered right there. Hit save. All right, one last transaction, confirm, and that is all done. So now join uprise.eth is connected to this wallet address. And so one final thing I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna go up here to my MetaMask wallet and I'm gonna hit send uh, and just put in the domain that we just registered. And you can see that it automatically pulls it up and it's the right wallet address out here. So um, it looks like it's been linked up correctly. And that's it. If you have any more questions about ENS domains, crypto, whatever it is, definitely leave us a comment below. Also, if you'd like more support with personal finance, definitely check us out at Uprise. I've linked to us in the description below as well. We put together Wall Street level personalized financial plans completely and 100% for free. So if you have questions around investing, budgeting, employer benefits, whatever it is, we'd be happy to help. Then on average, we put 100K in net worth back into people's pockets. Other than that, if you got value out of this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. See you guys next time.